Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a quick feature update video because one of the biggest updates for Blender modeling has been introduced uh, in the latest 3.1 beta. And it's probably one of the biggest modeling updates that Blender's seen for the last decade. It's absolutely massive. So, what is it all about? So, basically, if we start with this model, we want to arrive at this model using subdivision modeling. Now, previously, this wasn't possible at all uh, without a lot of problems uh, and extra work. This model here was brought in from another 3D software and was generated from the model you can see on the left. Uh, and if we wanted to reach this sort of effect historically in Blender, we've got several options, but they all come with a few issues, which I'm going to show you now. The first one, obviously we need to add a subdivision modifier, and we'll shade it smooth. You would add a crease to the edge. So you've got your subdivision uh, modifier, add your mean crease, and that will give us that effect. Problem is, let's just turn off optimal display. You can see we've got this really harsh, obvious edge there. So it's not great. So look at this one. It's nice and nice and sharp, and it just it's smooth immediately. It's, there's no sort of pinching at the edge or anywhere at the top. And more importantly, the geometry, the actual topology, is really light as well. We've added no extra geometry on there. So the next option would be to bevel the end vertices. So if we go into vertex mode, I'll do Control B, V, so I can bevel the vertices. And then we can scale those all the way in. And we get close. But the problem now is, if we look at the topology, we've added all this messy sort of uh, crossing over topology in the corner instead of this nice clean topology all the way around. So again, this would probably pass visually, but looking at the mesh, it's become overly complicated and that's gonna cause other problems. So the final method we could use is to add additional edges. So using the cut tool, I'd add probably an edge here. And you see, as soon as I do that, we have got a reasonably good result. But again, if we look at the topology, so you can see, although it's not given us a bad result, it has in actual fact changed the surrounding area of the geometry, so we've not got the same shape anymore uh, in this area here. It's no longer smooth. But we've also got additional geometry as well. It's, it's sort of messed it all up around here. And we're not left with this really nice result we had before. And similar to this one, what we could actually do with the original mesh is just add a vertex here and a vertex there, but not one along this top edge. And if we see what sort of result this will give us. We do get a similar result to this one. Maybe a little bit sharper, but we're still getting this really nasty pinching. And the topology is still a bit messed up in these corners. But we do avoid getting this additional topology change at the top. But still, it's not ideal. So the new way, if we just bring this one across, and we're going to use now the same method that we used in the other software, which I imported this one from. Blender's now got this functionality. So if you go into edit mode, well, add a subdivision modifier first. Okay, so into vertex mode, select like this vertex, this vertex, and these two here as well. And if we go into the end panel under the item menu, we've got a new option. So we've got the vertex crease option, which will now be used by the subdivision modifier. So if I increase this, you can see, Put it to one, we've got exactly the same result that we had from the other software. And if we compare these two with each other, you'll see we've got identical topology as well. And this is absolutely massive. So it's saving you a huge amount of time. It's easily editable. There's no manual editing of geometry. It doesn't mess up the topology or the shape of the surrounding geometry. And it keeps the mesh light 
and doesn't introduce any pinching artifacts. And in my opinion, it's definitely up there amongst the biggest additions to 3D modeling that Blender's had in the last decade. It's absolutely massive. So big thanks to Kevin Dietrich, the developer that added that in. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sure you'll find this feature useful and I'll see you in the next one. And if you'd like to learn about geometry nodes, then you're in luck because if you visit 3d-illusions.co.uk, there's a 147 minute tutorial together with scene file that you can see playing here, which will teach you everything you need to know about the underlying fundamentals of geometry nodes, allowing you to build anything you want by creating your own Blender modifiers. It's great fun, it's really easy to follow, and I'm sure it'll be incredibly useful. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.